So in our last video, we went through some filtering in our Data Raptor extract. And what I'm going to do now is show you some of the extra things that you can do in our Data Raptor transform. Now, there are loads of different things that you can do. So I'm only going to show you two really basic things, but they did come in really handy for me when I was starting my doc gen journey. So just for this, I'm just going to remove this limit and we're going to go into preview and we're just going to check how many we get back. So one, two, three, four. And I'm just going to copy this to my clipboard and then shift over to my transform and paste that in there. So we should just have the four. So one, two, three, four, which is good. And then coming into our transform, what I want to do is sum up my opportunity amount to get a grand total or total amount. So just noting that it comes in, um, well, it's sitting under repeat one but it actually comes in through account. So it comes through as account and then our um, opportunity um, amount there. So I'm just gonna copy that and then go into formulas. And I'm gonna add a formula and I'm just gonna call this total. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. So just paste it in there. To do that now, we, we prefix it with a sum and like I said, it's coming in as a count. And so what we're hoping that this is going to do is run through um, all of the account and then opportunity amounts there and sum it together and give it a, a total. So let's actually just call it total opportunity. Uh, let me fix that. Total opportunity amount. And I have spelled that wrong. Okay. Um, Going, going back into transform, we've got to add it in there. And so let me copy and paste it so I don't mess up the spelling. And so the input is our total opportunity amount and the output is that. And we're going to make it currency as well. And if we preview, uh, we can see up the top there is our formula field that's coming back as our total opportunity amount and it's summed up. Um, all of these values there, and I'm assuming it's correct. I haven't got out my calculator, but we can see we've got uh, 15, 15. So that that checks out then. Um, the other things that I want to do is whether the opportunity was one or not. So we were previously using this if is one. Um, what I'm going to do instead is uh, come up with uh, a different formula for that. So. Um, it's, uh, so we'll go if, so account is, if it's is one, uh, let me just double check, I think it's opportunity is one. So that equals true. Uh, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Um, I'm just gonna put in true and false like that. Not the greatest one. Normally you could say like if it's greater than or equal to or if it's equaling, you know, a certain phrase or word or something. So not the greatest example, but I'm going to leave it anyway. Um, and then I'm going to change this to opportunity. Uh, so account opportunity is one. It can be the same thing. And then I'm going to do the opposite. And this time is not one. Okay, and then we will just copy these into our transforms. So I don't really need this one anymore. So I'm going to, it's the same thing anyway. I'm just going to change this to is one. And then is not one. And so repeat one. And of course you could have repeat two, repeat three for different um, data that you're bringing in. So it is not one. And let's just preview that. Okay, so is one is true, is not one is false. And then is one is false, um, is not one is true. So that is coming through the way that we would expect it to. I'm just going to tidy up the um, 
uh, the output path a bit more. So uh, I want this to be an if. So like I said, I like to pref prefix it just so it's very clear to me when I'm looking at the document what type it is. And I'm actually going to change this to um, if opportunity. And I'm going to put that on my clipboard so I can spell it again later. And then we'll go um, if like that. And let's just execute. So um, yeah, so it's just got a bit out of order here. So true, false, true, false, false, true. This, so that's sort of what we're expecting there. And then what I'm going to do is open up the template. So we'll just go in to Word and open that up. And underneath this, I'm just going to say opportunity total and it, I just like to copy and paste. So total amount. And then here you can see that we've got these um, uh, under one uh, and we've got some if statements there. So I'm just going to copy and paste these just to make it easier for myself. And we'll just paste it there. So um, we've got here the if, and so we'll have it as opportunity. And you can see the table sort of jumping around. Um, I'm just going to fix that up so it doesn't do that anymore. So table properties, and then I'm pretty sure it's um, options. And I'm just going to unselect it so it doesn't automatically resize. And so we're going to say it was opportunity is one. So if this is true, it's going to say yes, and just making sure that it's the exact same thing over there, and fixing up so there's no spaces. And then the other one was, um, is if opportunity is not one, then we're going to say no. So instead of saying true and false, we're going to say yes or no. Now, I do realize in the transform, in the formula, you could have actually had that as your formula where you say if it's equal true, then say yes. If not, say false. Um, but for the purpose of showing visibility rules, um, this is a really easy way of doing that. Um, and we could also, you know, use other things. So, yeah, just to let you know, uh, I understand that this is not the most efficient way of doing this particular thing. But in terms of the demo, it's the easiest for me. So let's just fix this up and save it. And I'm just going to bold this as well. All right, so we're coming back in now. We close all of that. And we go into our um, document template, deactivate and re-upload. And it's this one. And we'll activate that. All right, so we can come back in here. And just to show for our last example, we only had um, the two showing there. So coming back, and we'll go previous and next. Okay, let's let's cross our fingers and hope that this has worked. Alright, so we've got a few things there. So our opportunity total didn't come through for some reason. That's okay, we'll troubleshoot that. But we can see that the yes is showing, yes is showing, and yes is showing. So no isn't showing. Oh, there it is there. Um, it's just the table's not really um, sitting very nicely. We should probably change that a little bit. So I'm actually going to just quickly go and change that just so that it uh, looks a bit nicer and also I can show you um, how to do that. So we'll get this open. Um, so to do that, if we remove the uh, line from there and we'll just paste it there. So there's our repeat one. 
and we'll get rid of this one here. And this time we'll just put it, I'm just going to paste it there. I know it's not looking super nice, but that's okay. Um, I believe that should work okay. And then just for my table, I'm going to go into my properties and we're going to say that it can't go over allow road to break across pages. So we're just going to set my key to that and save it. Now I haven't spent too long on that, so it might not be perfect, but we'll see what it looks like anyway. Okay, so like I said, lots of deactivating, re-uploading, and then activating again. All right, let's uh, have a look at what happens now. Okay, so that's actually going over quite nicely. Um, for some reason, oh, I think it um, doesn't render super well um, in this PDF because I did say not to go over lines. Let's just see what happens with that Word document. Uh, well, it doesn't go over the lines anyway. So that looks a lot better. You can see there's spaces between and all of them there. And then it's quite clear that that visibility rule is working properly. So opportunity total isn't working um, very well at all. And it's possibly because um, I haven't put it in the transform. So oh, we have. So total opportunity amount is in the transform. If I open up that document again. Whoops, open up the right one. Okay. I've got it the wrong way around, so save that now and export. Deactivate, re reload, let's go. All right. And if we go back and preview that again, we should have the total amount in there now. And there you can see the total amount. So that's the formula field that's come through summing all of the previous um, or the or the other um, fields in that particular path in there. Okay, so that's um, a few things that you can do with the transform. Like I said, I won't do it, but um, I could, for example, if there was something else here where it had, um, you know, yes and no, assuming that these were valid um, options for this field, of course, um, you could do the same there. So you, it doesn't have to be a Boolean uh, field or a checkbox field that you're referring to them. It could be anything. So I will leave that there um, with you now. The final video that I want to show you is a key value er uh, error that you can get and how to fix it.